Well, hello! This is Humanism Total Nerdy Channel, we are back in StarMade, and finally it's time for more ship reviews in the fleet form. Yes, this is one of the other fleets that we'll get in the game, and this is once again King of Anime that have made this. Uh, but this is the fourth submission indeed. Yes, submission number four, also accepted of course, um, and it looks very interesting. And uh, I don't know, I can't say I have watched a specific anime that has a design like this, but I totally see how this could be a anime series. Okay, they look a little bit like, um, like. Japanese 70s animes interpretation of sp futuristic space stuff but anyways uh, however it is it doesn't matter because this is very very cool I haven't looked at these before but we should take a look now and we can connect away the entities one after another like that. And now we're all disconnected. Fantastic. Let's get into the first ship here. Which we can see right away. This is a 100 and uh, 1200 uh, blocker. So it's fairly few blocks. Uh, it has a high thrust to mass ratio. So it's really fast. I suspect no weapons, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. The flying wings here are very cool. Maybe it would be even better if uh, some of these were glowing. But uh, other than that, the design of this vessel is very futuristic, very, you know. And these squares sticking out here like droplets actually add some good effect. Yep. The hovering parts is a main part of this thing. Here we have a little, what is it, hmm. transporter and gravity. We can see we have a beam computer uh, and that's a little entrance to the void. Let me get out of gravity. I do not think this one utilizes the USD or does it? Wait. Nope. But it doesn't need to. Can, can we land on something? Nope, but we at least we have a dock to uh, attach ourselves to if we would land this cool ingot share. It's like golden, uh, I don't know, gold mining baron's share. Uh, and a little transporter. Small fighter created by King of Anime. Oh, yes, naturally. Uh, wait, core. Core view is useless, but fortunately we have a camera here. And that's the camera, and that's nice. Okay, so how big is the weapon system? 44. For uh, having the size of... Uh, 1000 blocks. A damaged beam of 44 is okay. Jump drive is a little small maybe, but uh, oh well, I guess it won't be used anyways. Okay, so we can use our damage beam here, and it's a simple damage beam. Um, I'll say it does its job. Uh, this shuttle ooh, definitely will do its job. Ah, oh, the new explosive effects added to the beams are just so nice. Nice yellow color on the beam as well. Oh yes. Um, oh well. This is a solid shuttle. It's good. No complaints. Okay, next vessel. Um, let's do something fun. We select this one. Then we aim ourselves at this thing, we go into trust, and then we 
turn off the auto dampeners and we'll just set this ship towards there we exit and jump into the new ship so now we basically send this where is it wait here yes we send a poor <laughs> poor fighter against the alpha oh well we check on that later now we could go out of here and have some look around we have gravity in the center it's very easy to see and find that's really nice um, we have some uh, stuff places we can sit uh, oh, a nice bunk bed two chairs but I guess you have to sleep in shifts all that totally makes sense maybe considering the size slightly bare bone uh, interior but it does work should be nice with some you know decorative uh, slabs or decorative computers or you know anything like that but oh well and exit to the open on both sides this is now three so three thousand blocks and we of course have the same design and actually this wing is not docked but uh, built and it looks very nice anyways so that's really cool and we also have these uh, I guess this is some kind of energy ring but once again it would have been uh, preferable if I guess some parts of this glowed a little bit it could be cool Okay, um, were there any info sign in this medium fighter? Yes. Okay. Well, these entrances are completely fine. We also have 22,000 shields, which is uh, pretty big for a ship on this size. So that's really cool. Okay. I'm okay they haven't attacked that's cool so we have a jump drive of 10 well I guess it's not it's okay it works we also have a scanner which is good so we can bust the enemy's uh, things um, and a damage beam a simple damage beam of size 100 which is probably a reasonable size And well, of course, we can't stand up against the Alpha very well, but the fact that we have so high shields keeps us pretty safe for a good while. So that's really cool. Oh well. Now, are the, are the thruster settings global here? No, they're not. No, that's good. We should be checking the next ship because, you know, there is not much more to comment on this particular vessel. But it's, uh, you know, once again, it's consistent in design. It looks good. There are no real issues. Everything is set up correctly and uh, it's a good ship. It's a good ship. Okay, let's get out of this uh, immediately, so we can... Ha! Gravity. Ooh! And this one does utilize the USD. No fancy logics, but we don't need it really. Here we have a... Double bunk bed with some... Um, yeah plants and stuff like that I guess this I don't know what this is maybe it's oh it's probably a weird shower facility thing but no oh god it's a maybe bathtub well it's cool anyways and we have a royal let me say it again royal toilet maybe I don't know whatever um, well 
pretty decent interior in this one and we can go to the cockpit here and we have a stop computer and mobile home okay so this is a mobile home uh, well we do have some facilities here so i could totally see where that would come from we can also go upstairs hey let's go upstairs we have a transporter and ooh, isn't this a fantastic observatory deck I mean, wow, this is, you know, so far among these ships, my favorite. And we have a functional seat. This is actually a good ship. This is uh, like, all of them are good, but this is actually really nice, like a really nice observatory deck. Very immersive interior. And here we even have a little private cabin. That's fantastic. Well, let's go and check these systems out here. What do we have? Um, we have a ship. This ship is... Ah, uh, these decks are so damn cool. These observatory decks, I can't, you know... Fantastic. They look so great from inside, you know. It's kind of simple, but you see this straight lines going here and just being the same size as the window has a very open and very nice effect and it's simple but on this design it works so well I'm really impressed well um, we have a jump drive of 100 and uh, 58 and now we're speaking um, this is actually functional you can use it we also have a stop and a gravity effect of 100%, so this is completely safe to just hover above any planet. <clears throat> so you can basically land it without landing it on a planet, so that's nice. We also have a explosive effect here, which is interesting. And for that we get... Uh, moment effect protection which means that we are unstoppable I think I, I think you know stop beams and uh, uh, stuff like that will, will stop working oh well um, and dockers and that's basically that uh, wait no I'm looking at the wrong mess <laughs> they're kind of similar okay uh, but, well, anyways, not much in system, uh, we have a pretty decent thrust to mass ratio, and we also have the nice rings of uh, energy and stuff like that. Okay, hopping to the, let's see here, hopping to the next build, whoops. Here we start into this space I want to get inside this. Um, okay, so here are the USDs. Once again, a very open design. Um, we have a transport right here. We also have a transporter way over there. I don't know why you would want two of them. Oh well. Um, you can see this is kind of many shares and tables. It looks kind of like a commercial yet or something. So I guess this is personal transport. Uh, let me guess this is cargo. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a transport vessel. Well, that's very cool. Um, I think it's a great idea to have, you know, the passenger seats. Like when regular commercial airplanes actually take the post. Um, between countries that's really cool so I guess this is a bit similar you know regular commercial uh, people moving crafts that also take a good couple of cargo passenger and cargo transport nice and we have the ship core here which looks pretty nice pretty damn nice um, well we have a wide and accessible opening very good for getting there we also ooh, double 
like we have this is Darren to be a shirt. This is a Twibat. I don't know. It's the name of some insect in Swedish. Well, um, it's how it looks, anyways. But it looks cool with all the free moving stuff. Or not moving, they're still. But, anyways. Okay, how big is this one? Uh, 10,000? For being a transport, maybe a little bit faster jump jet would have been advisable. We have a scanner though. Ooh, that's really big. Big, big scanner, that's nice. Um, and we have a stop effect of 100% and explosive effect. So, we can go on gravity and we are unstoppable. So that's really nice. What is this? Oh. Faction attack ship, I think. Oh no. Oh well. Let's turn this on. Well. We don't have any weapons on this one, but, uh, well, maybe we don't need to put in now, though. <laughs> well, let's move on to the biggest vessel. Uh, I feel we're getting a bit wrecked, but I guess we will be able to look through this anyways. Okay, jumping into this one. Um, oh, what did I do? Yes. Uh, no. We can check the exterior here and we have... Wow. These ingots here make a great detail. It's so slightly, it's first hard to see, but wow. Very nice. Um, yes, and the USDs are all correct set up. I see that many authors failed to set up their USD, they just mirror build and forgot to change it. So it's nice. This is not the case on this one. Proper proper ones. Well what is that? okay that's one of the early ships that's here. I guess this is a an tag vessel. Now what is this? This is a new part of the texture pack, I'm not sure. Anyways This is pretty big. We need to do some exploration of this vessel. Oh lords, our shields are almost down. Oh god. We lag up this whole place here. Let's just take a nice little jump upwards. Oh, they actually damaged us. Oh well. Here is the core. And that's nice and all. Science ship. Okay, this is a science ship. We seem to have lots of systems here. Let's hope they are all connected up. And here is out on the bridge with dual captain seats and something like that. Nice, devoted leadership. Okay, and here we have pretty big interiors. And this is, ooh, a little airlock. So when you go here, and I want to go here, and then maybe it's okay, it's not, but it could be. I want that gravity though. Transporters. Cooking area mess whole thing. We can go down here, and here we have a nice little laboratory with samples and stuff like that. Very cool. Nice interior. Science lab. Cool. I love such things on a ship. I'll reuse the... Okay, okay, okay. And oh, here we have captain's quarters. And the med bay. Looking good. Crew quarters. Oh yeah, oops. No. Same here, and I guess here too as well. And here we have a little storage for kind of samples or something. I feel the pursuers has came come to get us. Unfortunately, it's only Amos turrets. 
star made in a nutshell. Well, the interior solution of this, which this uh, walkway down and this walkway up here, is very neatly done. Um, I think it's add, you know, it's fairly simple, but it's really, uh, it's really logical and very good. Very, very good. I'm actually very impressed by that. Um, to have a such good interior solution. So we have another science lab up there, but you know, okay, it's very simple, but you know, many people forget having uh, easy access and logic uh, walkways to their interiors. Why? I like it. Okay. No real battleships on this vessel, but um, what do we have? Whoa, whoa, whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what do we not have? Let's first just how many blocks is this? 20,000 uh, thrust to mass ratio is 1.7, so it's pretty decent. We have a jump drive of uh, 500 almost, so it's okay for this size, it works pretty well, it seems. A uh, scanner computer of 600, well, that will be loading pretty quickly, I guess, then. We have, a, we have a shield supply computer, so set, I don't know if we can supply enemy ships. Oh, it seems like we could. Cool. And we can power supply this. <laughs> and then we can heal this enemy here. Cool. It does some good healing too. We have stop effect so we can go to planets and we can't be affected about the motion things. We have an EMP computer. Okay. For some energy kind of safety thing. Well, we also have a damage beam. Oh god, it's pretty effective actually. A damage beam, where is it? So many systems. Very nice with many systems though. 900. Well, it's a decent size. You can see we can basically scramble this thing with a few shots. Boom, overheating. Like that, boom. And you can see this poor bastard doesn't have any shields. Let's provide them with shields. They don't have so much energy. Let's provide. <laughs> oh well, anyways. Um, one thing that this pack totally lacks is turrets, but I can't say there is a good way to put turrets on this uh, vessels anyways. Um, you know, other than that, it's a very well built fleet and it looks really, really cool. Uh, I guess it won't pose the most rigorous uh, threat on there, but on the other hand, that's probably quite good. And these also look so cool. So who would anyone, who would anyways want to wreck this? Um, one could argue. Well, very nice fleet. Uh, no serious issues, <laughs> which is unusual. Some uh, some shipbuilders forget about. Uh, some pretty basic stuff and shaking uh, like weapons and stuff like that but not king of anime not for this submission they are all um, built appropriately very good very good fleet submission well this is Jimmyism Total Nerd Channel signing out for this time I will be catching you in more in future videos bye bye